What's happening, guys? We're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday here on the channel. If you're new here, my name's Jay Yudlovsky. We talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, a little bit of YouTuber tips, and even some gear stuff, because everybody loves some gear stuff, right? So if you're into any of those, consider subscribing to my channel. Today, we're talking about how to optimize your video footage so that you can play it back easier here in DaVinci Resolve. And what I really mean is your real-time performance. As you're playing through your timeline, you don't want it to be choppy. You, you know, you can't see what's going on. It's blurry. It's just not playing back smooth. You got playback issues, right? We all get there, depending on what kind of footage you're using, depending on your computer specs. Sometimes we get some playback issues, right? So today I want to talk about a few of the different ways we can use some optimization here in DaVinci Resolve to help that playback be smoother. But today we're going to be talking about proxy media, optimize media, render cache, and timeline proxy mode. So let's jump right into Resolve. We're going to cover these guys. I'm going to give you a brief overview of what they do, how they work, and how they can help you out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a random project up here on why you're not getting more views on your YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that, I'll link to that above and you can check that out. But let's say I'm having some trouble with playback. What are my options here to help playback be smoother in DaVinci Resolve? Well, the first thing that you probably want to try is come on and up to the playback menu and you want to come down to timeline proxy mode. So timeline proxy mode is the first thing you try if your playback is just a little slow, maybe you're not getting your full frames per second playback, um, maybe it's just a little choppy, this is going to be what you want to try first. And what this does is just changes the playback resolution in the timeline here. So typically this is off. Most of the time for me, I'll use half resolution because you don't really see a big difference when the uh, picture here is so small between the full res and the half resolution stuff. And half resolution on my machine just makes it easier to play back. And I'll even drop it down to quarter resolution sometimes, and I can still edit with that, and it just helps make it smoother on my machine so I don't have to go through the whole process of creating optimized media because that takes time. So the first thing you want to try is that. The next thing that you can do to kind of help optimize things and help your playback is, again, to come up to the playback menu, and we want to come down to render cache. Now, if you have this set to none, there's going to be no pre-rendering of any of your effects, your text. And if we look at my text right here, we see there was a little blue bar here. I don't know if you noticed that before, but now there's not. And if I was going to play through it, DaVinci Resolve is just going to render it as it gets to it. So that includes any kind of effects you have, any kind of fusion effects, uh, could be color grading, could be uh, certain clips if they have certain you know things applied to them. Uh, could be titles, transitions, all that kind of stuff. You have the option to let DaVinci Resolve pre-render that stuff so that way once you're playing back your footage or your timeline here and you get to that it goes smoothly so to do that come on up to playback again render cache and if you click smart davinci resolve is going to decide what it can render that will just help your playback and that's going to be all those things that i mentioned transitions and text and all that kind of stuff some effects and generally this is going to happen as soon as you stop working on your project so say you're idle for 10 seconds the default setting is after five seconds davinci resolve will start rendering this stuff in the background it's not going to do it while you're working for the most part, but it's going to do it in the background. And I change mine to every one second. So as soon as I'm not working for a second, boom, DaVinci Resolve is hard at work in the background. So if you're noticing that your transitions are a little glitchy or your text effects just are not smooth, go ahead and click on this and try smart and see how that works. And you can also use the user section, which uh, allows you to define some things in your, pro I forget if it's project settings or your preferences, whichever, but you can define some settings there as far as how it works. But generally, I'm going to go ahead and pick Smart. And as I just click Smart, you can see down here we've got the red bar, which means it's not rendered yet. And as the clip is rendered, it turns blue. So when I go back to play through the timeline and it gets to the clip with the blue line on top, it's just going to play through it without any problems. Now, you notice this one's taking a little longer, and that could be because I've got other things in this timeline that are getting rendered now and eventually to get to this one too. So it just kind of depends on how much time you let it sit there as far as how much it gets done. But it always picks up where it left off and then you should be good to go. Now let's say you tried these two things and it's still just playing back slow. It's choppy. It's just not working good. The next thing you want to try is creating some optimized media or proxy media. And if you didn't see last week's Quick Tip Tuesday about what the difference is between those two, link above, go check out that video. So optimized media is basically Resolve pre-renders your footage which just makes it easier for Resolve to play it back. It's not figuring out things in real time because it already did that. So it uses optimized media to play back in the timeline, which helps the playback be smoother. Now, optimized media, real quick again, is if it's just you working on your project because you can't go in and grab them and grab those proxy files and do anything with them. It's all managed by DaVinci Resolve. 
But the cool thing is you can use them in multiple projects. So that's cool. Again, you'll see that in last week's video if you could check that out. Now, in contrast, proxy media is if you want to have those files and you want to be able to go give them to somebody else. You want to go to another machine. You need to drop them on a network or you want to be able to manage them yourself. And they're completely portable, whereas optimized media is not portable. You can't do anything with it. Proxy media is portable and you do have options to move that stuff around. So let's get back and resolve them and show you how to create those. So if I want to create optimized media, which again is if I'm only working on the project, I'm going to go ahead, click on my clip, right click, and you want to come down to right here, generate optimized media. A quick note, this can take a long time for either one of these options, depending on the size of your clip, the resolution of your clip, and what codec you pick. I mean, it could take overnight, depending on also the power of your machine. Do you have a strong machine? Do you not? If you're creating the optimized media, there's a chance that maybe your machine doesn't have a ton of power, and that's going to make it take longer to create those optimized media files. So that's just a heads up. If it looks like it's going to take hours, that's totally possible depending on the size of all your clip and all those other factors. Let's jump back into Resolve here. Now, if I wanted to create the proxy media, which are completely portable, I can do whatever I want, manage them however I want. You want to come up to your clip. I'm going to right click and you want to come down to generate proxy media. That's going to put everything in a separate folder so that you can grab it, go manage it, and do whatever you want with it. Now, let's say maybe you're using another program and you already created proxy files. You can actually link those up here now in Resolve 2. Jump it back into Resolve, you see right below that we have Link Proxy Media. So you can go ahead and click on that and link any proxy media that you already have. All right, guys, so that is a few ways of how you can optimize things here in DaVinci Resolve to get smoother playback and just have better performance in your timeline. Now, if you've got a super powerful machine, eh, you might be good to go. Maybe you don't got to do this stuff, and that's awesome. But if you're like me, I've got an older MacBook Pro here, and uh, I do need to do some of these things just to get some smooth playback and uh, not sit there and get frustrated and want to toss my computer across the room, right? We've all been there, right? So I hope this was helpful. If it was, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this and you want to see more. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!